Hi friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today we will be creating this elephant artwork and I'm really excited about this project because I do love elephants. Elephants are wise, they are very family oriented and they're just super cute. They're very hard workers as well. I'd like to go over the supplies and the materials that you will need for this project. The first thing that you'll need is paper. I use a watercolor paper. It's a thick paper that holds watercolor paint and water very well. If you do not have watercolor paper available to you, that's okay. Just use any thick paper. The next thing that you'll need are watercolor paints. I like to use a set like this because it has a lot of different color options. Another thing that you'll need is clean water and a paintbrush. This paintbrush is pretty big. You do not need a paintbrush this big if you don't have one available to you, but if you do, go ahead and use it. Another thing that you'll need are some crayons or some oil pastels. Either one will work just fine. For this particular project, I used oil pastels. Another thing that you will need is a handy dandy paper towel. We can use this for cleanups if you spill something, or if you have a little bit of extra water or paint on your painting, you can dab it and soak up a little bit of the paint or the water. The last thing that you'll need is a mat to go underneath your artwork to make sure that you keep your workspace clean. So that's it. I'm looking forward to this lesson and I'll see you in a minute. Hi friends, so let's get started creating our elephant. The first thing that you'll want to do is you will want to decide on the color of your crayon or your oil pastel. I'm going to use oil pastel and I'm going to choose a blue for our elephant. If you'd like to choose any other color, that is absolutely fine. So if you'd like to use yellow or red or orange, whatever you like, to use is just fine. What we're going to do is we are going to create our elephant on this piece of paper and we are going to make him nice and big, okay? So his face is going to be big and then his body is going to be behind his face and it's going to be big as well, all right? So let's get started. What we're going to do is create his face first and his trunk. So we're going to go to the top part of our piece of paper and we are going to make an upside down letter C, just like this. Wow, that's pretty big, that's what we want. All right, after we make our upside down letter C, what we're going to do down here is create a trunk. So what I'd like you to do is take this end and this end and bring it in a little bit more bring each end in a little bit more, and then we're going to curve this line and curve this line like this, and that's going to be the top part of our trunk. Now, after we have this part done, we're going to go down just a little bit, straight, straight, and then when we get to the bottom, we're going to come up with a little U and come up with another little U both upside down. Now we're going to close those up with a wide letter U. That's going to be the tip of his trunk. All right, let's go back up to his face, to his head area, and let's make his ears. So his ears are coming out the sides at the top, and they're just going to be some curved lines coming out on each side. Whoops, I just went off my paper. That's okay, no problem. I'm going to pretend like I came out this way and then I'm coming back in, okay? And with this one, I can just come right back in, just like that. Sometimes when you are creating artwork, this type of thing will happen, just like it happened with me. 
no problem at all. I think it actually looks kind of cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the body for our elephant. And our body is just going to be a shape that looks like this. It's almost like a soft square. So you come down, soft edges, and then come back up. Okay? So again, you come down from the cheek, you curve around, straighten out, curve back up, and end back up at his other cheek. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create his legs and his feet. So they have very boxy and wide legs and feet. They have to carry a lot of weight around. So we're just going to make little squarish type shapes that are soft in the angles, okay? Behind these, you're going to make his back feet. The way that you do that is you just go like that with some little lines coming down and then going back in. For his toes, I don't know if you've ever seen elephant's toes, but when I've been to the zoo and I've seen toes, they look like this. They're upside down U's like this. Whoops. My oil pastel got a little bit stuck. So they're upside down U's like this. Now let's go back up to his trunk. There's something that we need to put on this trunk to give it a little bit more detail. We need to put a few lines, so maybe two or three lines. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to his face. And we're going to make some eyes that are on each side of his head. Instead of using blue though, I think I'm going to switch my color to black. So I'm going to make wide set eyes like this, nice and dark. Oh, I like that. And if you'd like to put eyelashes on, that would be fine as well. I'm just going to keep my eyes like that. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to add to your elephant, now would be the time to do it. I think I'm going to leave my elephant just like this because I really like the way that he looks. Oh, whoops. I forgot one thing. I forgot his tail. Elephants have surprisingly small tails. So I'm going to go either to this side or this side and I'm going to make a small tail, which is a curve line, curve line, and curve line coming out like that. So it's kind of like his tail is showing from, you're looking at him from the front and it's sticking out so you can see it. All right, I think that's it. So what I'm going to do for the next video, we're going to come back and we are going to start painting. I'll see you in a minute. Hi friends. Okay, what we're going to do now is we are going to start painting our elephant. Keep in mind this is not a realistic elephant. He is more of a cartoon, a made up elephant. So you can paint him any colors that you'd like. If you'd like to paint him green and yellow, that would be fine. Elephants are usually more of like a grayish or brownish color, but for our elephants, we can make them nice and bright colors if we'd like. What I'm going to do is I am going to choose green and blue to paint my elephant. So what I'm going to do first, before I do anything else, is I am going to wake up my paints the way that I do that is I put a drop or two of water inside each of the paint pans that I'm thinking about using. That way the paint will have a chance to, to wake up and be ready for us to use. So as I said before, I'm going to start using green and blue. So I'm going to use this green. Ooh, look at that. Keep in mind, if the color comes out darker than you were expecting and you'd like it to be a little bit lighter, all you need to do is add a little bit more water. And that way, it will lighten up a little bit. Remember also, it's important to push your paint around. Make sure that you are not going over and over the same area. It's important to push that paint around. So I think I'm going to 
put green down here because I like my elephant to be a combination of blue and green. Is it okay if I go over my line a little bit? Yes, it is. That's no problem at all. So I'm going to also make his ears green, just like that. A little bit more water on there. There we go. I really like how my elephant looks. Go down to the little tootsies down here. There we go. Now let me show you something. Do you see how there's a lot of water right here? What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some of that water with my handy dandy paper towel because I think it's a little bit too much water. So I'd like to take my handy dandy paper towel and touch it very, very gently, just like that. Not a whole bunch, just a little tiny bit. There's another area right over here on his ear, maybe here on his body. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a decision on what colors I'd like to use for my background. I think that I am going to use, hmm, probably a purple. I think purple would re look really, really nice. So I'm going to use this purple right here and I'm just going to start at the top. Ooh, isn't that nice? Isn't that a nice purple? Keep in mind, if you touch your elephant while it's still wet, the colors will go into your background. See how that's happening a little bit right here? That's okay with me. Some people like to keep their colors, their paint colors, inside their elephant. So if you'd like to do that, you have to be super duper careful. Maybe even let your artwork dry a little bit before you start painting. See here down on the toes, I'm letting this area dry a little bit before I start painting the toes because I want to make sure that the toe color does not spread out into the other areas on my painting. So I'm going to speed up this video a little bit and I'll meet you back here in just about a minute. You can either get started or you can watch me speed paint because I'm really fast at it. Here I go. friends, I'm back. I'm really happy with the way that my painting looks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to paint my elephant's toes. I like my elephant's toes to be orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry off my paintbrush. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to make sure I don't have a lot of water on here. The more water I have on here, the more the water is likely to spread out into the other colors. So I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit of orange, so tiny you might not even be able to see it, and I'm going to carefully paint in my elephant's toes with orange, orange watercolor paint. See how careful I'm being on that? I'm going slowly and carefully so I do my best work. If your paintbrush is smaller than mine, that's probably a good thing for this particular area. I did it though. I did it and I'm really happy with it. So, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I look forward to seeing you next time.